The Ray movie is back on the front page as the film's director started the new year off by pissing a lot of Star Wars fans off. Charmin Obed Chinoy is set to be the first female director to direct a Star Wars movie, and that should be a great accomplishment for Lucasfilm and the fandom. However, it is made extremely difficult as the movie that Charmin is directing is going to follow Rey 15 years after the events of The Rise of Skywalker as she starts her new Jedi Order. And after the sequel trilogy just a few years ago completely divided the entire Star Wars fandom, it seems pretty dumb to have your next feature film connect to that sequel trilogy. So not only is this first ever female directed Star Wars movie already set up for failure because of the story itself, but the director herself is not helping the cause. Charmin Obed Chinoy, who has zero prior experience with Star Wars, and it seems Seems like every time that she opens her mouth, she angers a lot of fans. Which leads us to why I've gathered you all here today. Charmaine just said this. Smash a like on this video. Okay, but in all seriousness, you should smash a like on this video. She said this. You know, I'm very thrilled about the project because I think um, what we are about to create is something very special. And we're in 2024 now. And I think uh, it's about time that we had a woman uh, come forward uh, to shape the story in a galaxy far, far away. Now, this quote can be taken one of two ways. The first way is that she's referring to Ray being the lead of this movie, which would mean that Ray is this woman that is shaping the galaxy far, far away for the first time. Or the second option is that she's referring to herself as being the director of this movie and she being the woman who is shaping the galaxy far, far away. However, Either way, she is wrong. If she is indeed talking about Rey and how she is the lead of this Star Wars project, then she is incorrect. Female characters have been shaping Star Wars since day one in 1977. From Leia to Padme to Jin Erso to Ahsoka to even Rey throughout the entire sequel trilogy, this is not her first go around in being the main character of something. There really is an endless list of very important female characters all throughout Star Wars. Apparently, Charmin didn't notice that women have been getting done in the Star Wars galaxy. Now, on the other hand, if Charmin is referring to herself being the director of this film and being a woman who can shape the future of the Star Wars galaxy, then yet again, she is incorrect. Star Wars has had countless directors and producers involved in Star Wars projects that have been females, especially in recent past. Just a year and a half ago, the rematch of the century between Anakin and Obi-Wan one of the biggest, most ambitious projects from Disney Star Wars was completely directed by Deborah Chow. Deborah did have experience with Star Wars a few years before that in The Mandalorian, and the Mandalorian shows from The Mandalorian to The Book of Boba Fett to The Ahsoka Show have had no shortage when it comes to female directors. From Bryce Dallas Howard to Rachel Morrison to Jennifer Gelsinger to Gita Patel, there is no shortage of incredible female directors when it comes to Star Wars. However, the the only difference between one of these people that I just mentioned and Charmin getting a Star Wars film is that those ladies have experience with Star Wars. Charmin does not. Not to mention the fact that the entire company of Lucasfilm for the last 12 years has been led by Kathleen Kennedy. So this comment from Charmin Obed Chinoy pretty much did one thing, and that was anger fans. It angered fans about the next Star Wars movie, which is supposed to be a Rey movie, which already is set up for failure. Coming off the back of the sequel trilogy that, again, like I said before, completely divided the Star Wars fandom. And honestly, if you look at the conversation online around the Rey movie, a lot of fans aren't even looking forward to it or even plan to go see it in the movies. Needless to say, the Ray movie has a massive uphill battle ahead of it, and these comments from the film's director are not helping. This movie really needs a lot of things to go right to be very successful. It needs a very good villain, it needs a good plot, but it also needs to redeem the characters from the sequel trilogy, from Ray to Finn to even Ben Solo, because let's be honest, no one's ever really gone. 
and Ben Solo's character was most likely your favorite character from the sequel trilogy. So in order for this movie to be a success, it needs to really get a lot of things right. And the last thing it needs is the director of the whole damn thing to go and piss all the fans off. This is not the first time we've seen this, ladies and gentlemen. Let me remind you of a man by the name of Ryan Johnson, who thought it was a fantastic idea to go and piss all the fans off by creating The Last Jedi. And we all know what happened with that. So I think what we've all learned from this story is that Lucasfilm needs a better PR team, or at least a PR team in general. It seems like some of the things that this company has said over the last few years has been so crazy that there's no way that there's possibly a public relations team over there. But tell me in the comments what you think about what Charmaine said. Is she crazy? Am I crazy? Are you crazy? Or is the fact that they are even creating the Ray movie in the first place crazy? And also tell me if you are going to see this Ray movie when it comes out into theaters in 2026. Tell me all that in the comment section below. Smash a like on this video if you liked it. Hit subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a video. We go live on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So don't miss out on any of that by hitting that subscribe. And if you want more, go check out this video I just did about the possibility of a second season of the Obi-Wan Kenobi show with a brand new Legends character being brought into canon.